Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey guys, it's Amy Anna and welcome back to the channel once more. It's October. How is it October already? This year has been kind of a blur. You saw my update video. I'm now transferring to the University of Niz and taking a little gap year. And I told you that I was going to give you guys a more detailed video on why I made these decisions. So this is the video. If you haven't already, do check out the video where I unpack my stuff from Ukraine. And that's all thanks to Just Volunteering UK. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe this video, please. And without further ado, let's go. <laughs> so the world's crazy, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know, you're living under a rock, isn't that what they say? Yeah. But actually, if you don't know what's going on, if you focus on your life, you have responsibilities and uh, yeah, you're just getting on with you, then fair enough, to be honest. You have to be selfish in this world to survive these days. But when I was making the decision about whether to continue medical school in Dnipro Medical Institute in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine, I had to think of the bigger picture which is something you shouldn't have to think about when you're choosing a medical school, when you're choosing to commit to study, to choose such a selfless job in the world, a doctor. You shouldn't have to think about, you know, if you're safe in that country. That is the primary thing that I, that I had to be thinking about. The number one thing I had to think about was my safety. Indeed, that's what I did. I put my safety first. I was studying in the Ukraine and now it's transferred to Serbia. Serbia, though, if you've not checked a map, guys, Serbia is also in Eastern Europe, where all the stuff is going down. And quite frankly, I don't want to go there. This is what I'm doing. I'm not getting involved. That's what's gone on this year. So that's the number one reason why I had to quit medicine for a year. Well, basically, I didn't have a choice. And let me talk you through what options I had and how I came to the decision to take a gap year and transfer to Serbia. My number one option was to continue at Dnipro Medical Institute, which we all know and love, but there's a war going on, guys. For students that have already enrolled, who are already studying, well, studies have continued online this year. But guys, it's not the same as it was before. It's not the same as studying online during a normal, during a normal safe country when things can run smoothly. No, this is online learning when the teachers have been put through the trauma of war, when they don't know that their family is safe, that they're potentially still living in Ukraine and they're fearing for their life when an air raid siren goes off. It's not, it's not online learning, is it guys? It's not the same online learning, it's much less organised and of course what we all worry about is whether the university will be recognised in the UK. Now, Currently, DMI, for some reason, has been put on the maybe accept list by the GMC, the General Medical Council in the UK. I've heard many of reasons why this is, but I can't confirm any of them really. It's all a bit dodgy, basically, guys. So for those starting and wanting to start online learning in Ukraine, which a lot of people do still ask me about, I would not choose to start your medical career in Ukraine right now. It's, it's not the best. It's, it's really like the worst idea, probably. The only people it's worth doing online learning for is those in their final year who've studied six years, five years in Ukraine already. And if you've only got one year to go, then, then do it. Other than that, it's not a great, great place to study at the moment, guys. It's a war. My second option offered to me by my agency, Medlink Students, was Georgia. Perfectly good option. People have been transferred there to the European University in Tbilisi. Tbilisi? A really good experience students are having there. I have one friend studying there. They say that it's a great university, really hands-on learning and it's been great. But the problem is when you transfer to Georgia you have to start like again. <laughs> so although you can transfer you're basically starting again. I think I would have had to start it fourth year again so that's a whole year out of my studies plus again the safety thing for me Georgia is Ukraine 2.0 mm, although I would only have to study what three years who knows what could happen in those three years and again I don't want to put myself in danger and again that's at risk of not being recognized by the UK because of 
and unforeseeable future for the country, although it is perfectly safe to study in right now. So I'm really thinking of the bigger picture here. There are students studying there. I've got nothing bad to say about the university other than that I'm thinking forward as to what could happen there. That's why I didn't choose Georgia. And then the third option that came up was the University of Niz in Serbia, where I was told that I could transfer straight into fifth year, so not miss any of my studies, just continue as normal. I transferred in quite, quite a rush, I'd say. I just panicked a bit. I was just like, oh my God, the war's not ending. I just need to transfer and continue in September, which I was planning to do. But then over the summer, well, I thought things were going well but clearly now if you're keeping up with the news it's not the whole of eastern europe is still crazy right now and i just want to avoid it but i chose serbia basically because the tuition fees are the same your living costs are the same yeah you can transfer straight into fifth year but yeah i didn't want to go then how because of what's happening i encourage you to try and think about how it feels to live in a country under the threat of war many of us do live in the uk yes we have you know bits of terrorism and stuff like that but we're not under direct threat of being at war the weeks leading up to the war in ukraine were scary i was going through some real emotional trauma there guys the british embassy came down from kiev to talk to us and they really gave us the worst possible scenario when they were saying what could happen if you know war happened imminently which it basically did they made us prepare i had an emergency bag with all my essential documents and things i need ready to go i was carrying around my passport everywhere i also had my pepper spray on me all the time that made me feel safe having my little pot of pepper spray but the point is guys you don't know how it feels until you're in that situation and i did not want to be put back at square one in a country threatened constantly checking the government website to see whether my country is safe to live in you can't study medicine like that i mean yeah it's a challenge but I'm already challenged myself so much to study medicine, let alone have to worry about my imminent safety. So yeah, decided to take a gap here. Hidden choice number four. Well, it's not really a, a choice, but it's to restart studies. I'm 24, just, and I could just literally start afresh. Number one problem, guys. I have no money. If you remember that one of my very early videos, the main reason I chose to study in Ukraine was tuition costs and living costs it was the only one i could afford if you look eastern europe is the cheapest place to study there's scholarships out there but you need the initial funding costs tuition fees are just they just they just they're crazy to study in england anyway is not really a choice for me because i don't like living in england i don't know if you guys know that i hate england don't get me started on the weather I'm not gonna get into like politics and uh weird changes to society around here as well. It's not for me. Traditional norms around here now are literally being attacked by this need for diversity and equality. It just doesn't make sense. I actually feel like I can't be myself because of that. And that's from a well-traveled girl. So not England, but potentially another country I could restart my studies in. But like I said, tuition fees and monetization on my videos is dream far far away maybe one day subscribe i document my journey guys because i want to inspire anyone to be a doctor whether if you don't have the contacts if you don't have the family to inspire people from any background to be able to become a doctor but you know what guys it's hard it's really hard to do anyway i don't want to drag out this video that's like my whole thought process while making this decision to take a year out until i continue next year <laughs> my studies in serbia and what am I doing now? If you guys don't know, I am a hotel entertainer. I love it. If you don't know what that is, go on an all-inclusive holiday. It's basically like working in an animation team abroad. It's such a cool job and I love it. So I am moving back to my second home. I call it my second home after Ukraine now. I'm moving back to the Bahamas, which is where I actually got quarantined during the COVID pandemic. So fingers crossed nothing happens. The Bahamas is it's my happy place. When I think of peace, when I think of tranquility, stress-free life where you can just have a good time. That's what life's about, guys. Right now, I'm just doing me, having a nice break. Staying safe. But of course, we do not forget about Ukraine. I mean, I reminisce 
about Ukraine every day. I try not to watch the news because it does make me depressed. My prayers and thoughts always go out to all those Ukrainians out there who've had their lives turned upside down. Sending all my love to you guys. And with that, that's going to be the end of the video. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment any other videos or questions you would like me to answer, things you would like to see on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Amy and our army vlogging me life. I'll see you guys very very soon for another video. Ciao ciao for now.